So hello there guys, how are you all doing today? I'll be, do I'll be doing a squad review here of my Pro League Silvers. I really, really like this team, it was probably one of the very first teams that I made and it's for sure one the, the team that I play with the most. I even got that achievement which is play 100 games with the same player which was probably the goalkeeper. But I'll show you everybody here and in the end after uh, there will be some gameplay in this video as well finally. This video has been long overdue to some technical problems. But after I'll even show you a couple of my players in my club that I think are good. So in goal we have Copa, not the best goalkeeper actually, he wasn't too good at times, but because of the solid back line here, uh, in a few games he wasn't even needed, so I didn't really bother to, to try to hit somebody else. And in left back here we have Safari, 90 pace, uh, 68 defending, he's quite a tall guy, really good left back there. I have a big dunk over here, one of the best center backs I've played with in this game, 78 pace, 73 defending, he just a complete brick, and really as you'll see in some of the highlights, he just uh, a lot of plays start from him. Have a canoe, the other center back, 80 pace on him as well, really, really good. Right back here from Ghana, 90 pace, another very pacey backline, which is very helpful. Uh, so, really good backline there. Uh, CDM here, we have Maric, very balanced stats, he's got a very powerful shot as well and free kick. So, really good balanced stats on him. I have a Mujangi Bia, 85 pace, 66 shooting, bit of a lie, really like his shooting, it's quite good. Uh, four star skills on him as well. Left mid here, we have a Hif I Love. I uh, really, really like this guy, very, very good, one of my favorites in the squad, 71 pace, 72 shooting, uh, 84 dribbling is a little huge for him, and uh, he's got those 4 star skills, and also 5 star weak foot, which is also something that I really, really like on a player. I don't know if he's actually better than Sumahoro here on the bench with 92 pace, and also a cracking shot and 4 star skills, but uh, I think he's a bit more fun to play with, so I really like him. Have a Lozada, not the most brilliant stats, but he was just a really, really solid player for me, and did some amazing things. Uh, so yeah, I really like him. Uh, first track here we have Chite, 93 pace, 70 shooting, can't really go wrong with that. He's dribbling not the best, but still, he'll get the jo job done with some step overs and stuff. Have a Yubi Jankic, not the most uh, brilliant stats once again, uh, if you compare with some of the other strikers. But uh, he was really, really, really good for me, he just worked really well for me. So now to the bench here quickly, we have Angonka, sub right back, pretty solid on him as well. Chimanga, 93 pace, really good, even faster than Safari, but I kind of like Safari a little bit better. Uh, somehow we talk about him. Kuyate, really, really solid brick wall here on CDM if you want a more defensive mind, the guy. Really, really strong. Uh, Reynaldo, Reynaldo, quite good right mid as well, for star skill. Uh, pretty decent little player. Uh, Almibak, 82 pace as well, very fast, center back, really good. Nong, very solid uh, sub center uh, striker, 87 pace, got a good uh, shot on him, really good. Fernando Canizin here, a uh, nice little player, 84 pace, 78 dribbling, 4 star skills, and not, not too bad of a shot on him. Nonganga, he's a really, really good, pretty much goal scorer, that's the best way I can describe him. He just scores a lot of goals for me, he's not the most talented guy, but he just scores. And I figure out a little bit later, he does get the 5 star weak foot, which uh, is very, very handy. Have a Tozer, he's got a brilliant shooting and passing his stats, and his free kick are pretty good as well. I think he got um, 86 accuracy and 86 curve, that's really, really good. Then uh, Suarez here, he, the, two, the last one I didn't play them too much, I only got them recently in trying them out. I haven't played him too much, but he's got really good stats, he also got an inform this uh, the past week. But uh, he's a very decent guy, nice shooting and uh, pace, pretty good. Have uh, Elganasi, he's a very nice little guy as well. Uh, 86 pace and 81 dribbling with the 4 star skills. Uh, really solid as well. I'll show you some other players in my club in a minute. Let me just uh, move on here to some gameplay. So the first key player starts off with a tackle by Donk. Some nice passing here, put Chimanga through. Showing off his crazy pace there and as he's gonna put a cross in for Nong. With a nice little volley with a slight hint of sweatiness there, but uh, that's alright. Then I hear Nong got Nong got through again, gets uh, free, and he's gonna finish it off with a nice powerful shot. But then afterwards he's gonna show that he can finish in some other ways as well. You can see he gets through again, a nice little cheeky little chip there, gotta love that chip. And then one more time here, uh, you can see after the, the header by Dunk, always starting off with Dunk, nice passing there by Losada, and he's gonna finish it off with a nice little Rabona, really, really nice. And then here move on now to. Kanezin, you can see the goalkeeper was out of position there, Kanezin, nice little long shot there. And up here I believe we have one play from El Ganassi, like I said I didn't play him too much, I only got him recently just to try him out. So doing some little bit of skill work on the sideline, like that little one-two little tap move and a bit of overuse of the chop move there, but still worked out pretty well. And just a nice finish by the goalkeeper. And now what do we have here, we have uh, a nice little play by Yubi Yankish, a nice little skill, se skill sequence, not the best killer myself, but I think that was pretty nice. And then we have pretty much the same goal, so that kind of little sequence worked out pretty well for me. 
you can see a little drag back and then moving on but uh, Rubianc is a really, really good player for me as I said before really really like him he's going to start off with another header this time from Canu so a lot of headers being won a little chip ball by Losada and then Rubianc is going to finish that with the ball still bouncing of course let's go here that's going to be the most spectacular goal was to show off a Yubianki is finished, he's being pulled by the shirt and whatnot, and he's still gonna finish that on the top corner no matter what. Next one here is not actually going to be a goal, but it would have been really really nice. A uh, little Rabona cross. Yubianki loves the goal the defender and doesn't matter to finish there. Every time I watch that I think I should try to love the goalkeeper or a little chip of the goalkeeper. We have Marich here with a power free kick just to get him on the high lot over here. So a really nice powerful shot on him as well. Don't have any long shot with him, but he does have a really nice long shot. Uh, Mr. Goldman and Mr. Nwanganga, this nice powerful shot down the middle of the goal. Then we actually have here a, a consecutive corner, so just to show you guys that he's a pretty good threat on corners as well. Uh, so winning consecutive headers there. This, this game here was 0-0 on the 90th minute, and I was really struggling to get a goal, missed a lot of shots. But he comes through in the 90th minute and scores a, a nice little shot away from the goalkeeper. So he really saves the day there. So next couple goals here are going to be by Mr. Reynaldo. Nice little spin move, little roulette and cuts inside. He's going to finish that. No problem at all. And the next one is just going to be a pretty pretty standard finish. But showing off. I thought it was pretty cool. Hit the bar and just get in. Pretty good finish from Reynaldo. Now next player here is going to be Sumahoro. And this game here was actually against Mr. Daniel Soros. Thought that was pretty cool. Just randomly came up against him online. I uh, got kind of lucky with that roulette there. But then just cuts inside and finishes it off nicely away from the keeper and next one here is going to feature, feature Mr. Yubi Ankic doing a little bit of a passing move, a little bit of a, some assist there so just relays it off to Sumahoro, he's gonna finish that no problem at all really good and next one here is going to be Sumahoro, kind of a skill runish there and gonna feature here the best skill move of all time sometimes just stop the ball and keep going sometimes that works uh, really, really well next goal you might have seen this before but uh, just an absolutely cracking shot from an unbelievable angle from Sumahoro and the guy was playing he actually had dropped the controller just before I scored this and this he came back just before I scored this so I bet he wished he didn't uh, start playing again but he wished he did just uh, stay with his controller dropped but um, really really unbelievable shot there then I just go here with kind of a karate kick there by Rafaelov really good <laughs> kind of weird shot that was pretty cool really good shot from him and then we have a, a, a little free kick here from him, I think. Uh, sorry, I can't commentate too much in real time because my preview on Vegas is lagging. That just shows off here there that uh, ball control from Rifelov. That's what I really, really love about him. Really tight ball control. Really good. This one here was just after that uh, Sumahoro game. You can see Rifelov tries off almost from the same place. Uh, takes a bounce and almost goes in. Uh, hits the bar there. Lands on the feet of Chite. Does some step over work and finishes it nicely away from the goalkeeper. So a few more uh, Chite goals here. So this is just one goal I have for him as well. But I scored like 18,000 goals for him. So I just thought I would show you one. And this next play here I think sums up pretty nicely what Mujangi B is all about. A little bit of pace, a little bit of skill, a little strength bouncing off the players. And that's a little Burba spin to finish it off. Uh, fading away from the defense and shooting it off away from the keeper. Another little play here from him. A nice little... Uh, this one is uh, just outside the box, he gets free and nice finish away from the keeper there on the bottom corner really good finish from him there, really like that next one here is some double scoop turn action, I think that was it called but uh, and then a pretty good finish uh, away from the keeper once again to finish it off next one here we have coming up is going to be Tozer see this guy was one of those idiots that just brings his goalkeeper out for no reason so as soon as I saw that on the minimap I was definitely shooting that, no problem at all and you can see here, if you give him some space, he can definitely shoot it um, very nicely on the side. Really good. Next one here is starts off with a nice little pass, a little back heel pass action, just for the fancy stuff. And another finish from him. If you give him some space, he will definitely finish it. Have Lozada here doing some trickery inside the box, and then gets free and puts it away nicely. Next one here was quite excited about this. You can see a nice little uh, through ball there, and then uh, one time in the air, and then Mr. Lozada with the scorpion kick. Uh, really unbelievable stuff. This was to my, uh, this was my very first uh, scorpion kick, and still to this point, my only scorpion kick that has ever scored. So I thought it was really, really cool. Get a replay on that, of course. And the next goal here we're gonna get from the instant replay after the match. Lozada ends up to the ball there inside the, the box. He's not gonna finish that. He's gonna do some keep ups, 
And he's gonna do a nice little bicycle kick there over the goalkeeper for the goal. This is going to be the final goal. As you, you watch me just fumble around with the replay menu here, this is going to be it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, a like is always very much appreciated. I should be able to do a few more squad reviews like this if you're interested uh, coming up in the future. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time and bye bye.